shit, don't start the timer. Don't start the timer. Okay, so uh, I talk fast. Uh, I volunteer so I can explain a little bit about what I do uh, each day over in the library. And, um, and one thing we've been doing, uh, my team and I, uh, we've been adding a big new piece to our collection of about four million cartographic artifacts. Um, and these new, uh, these new artifacts are air photos. Um, so if you do this sort of analysis every day, these are really good for a change analysis. So if you do this, you kind of know instantly that this is the same place. This one's a little bit harder. Um, but trust me, it's the same place. We don't have time to point out all the places in common. Um, so wait a second, how many what do you have? Uh, if it's, uh, so for all intents and purposes in library land, as soon as you get more than a million of anything, you really don't know what you have. Um, so, on my page again. Uh, why should I get more? Um, well, frankly, this content that we just acquired in the library was at risk. It was at risk of falling into private hands. Uh, and the content that we already have, the Fairchild photos that we already have at UCSB were at risk. Uh, the photographs are inherently unstable, and uh, the, the copies that we have tended to be fuzzy, and they were used very heavily through the 80s. So if you zoom in real close, you can't really see it here, but they've been uh, all scratched up, or they're fuzzy copies to start with. What I got from Whittier is uh, much closer to the camera negatives. It's the actual film that was in the, in the, um, in the camera, in the airplane. So if... Um, uh, having a 1954 oblique photo of London is cool, having the camera negative is even more cool. Um, so what is this stuff? Like, What am I talking about for camera negatives? Camera negatives, prints, uh, the collection I just acquired from Whittier, there's a, few, uh, there's a few thousand maps that are essentially metadata for the photos, and then there's about a quarter of a million prints. That's about half of them there. And there's a giant conservation problem for the library. If you can see this, this is actually a piece of film that's fallen apart. It's exploded through deterioration. Um, restoring the more stable materials at uh, my off-site location uh, that's uh, you know, undisclosed but close enough to ride my bicycle to. <laughs> and the, uh, the more fragile, more flammable material uh, is being kept in a, in a state-of-the-art $60 million storage facility at the UCLA Film and TV Archive down south. Um, what's next is we've got about six months of arranging and rearranging this data on the shelf. It's data. It's photographs. Um, we will uh, do some mass scanning of high value flights, high value to the scholars and all the high value to the commercial researchers, and we'll add these photos into our existing services. Uh, we'll also reach out to campus partners. That's a Fairchild camera, by the way. He also invented cameras. Uh, uh, we want to reach out to partners to do change anal analysis and things like automatic feature detection. Um, and as well, um, we'd like to always make these not just more accessible to you, but more accessible to the general public uh, by making things like seamless mosaics and sticking them into Google Earth so that everybody can see what Santa Barbara looked like in 1927.